Hello everyone, here is my first tutorial for Halloween. It's all going to be Rocky Horror Picture Show looks. Um, the first one is the character Frankenfurter. And if you know nothing about Rocky Horror Picture Show, just look in my description box and it will explain. But I can't do too much talking because I've got to get to the look because I need to. Alright, first starting out, we're going to use... Um, either with a foundation brush, a sponge, or your fingers, whichever one you have um, on you. I'd prefer you to use a sponge or a um, brush to get a good even application of clown white makeup. Kind of in a, a pale consistency all over your face and neck. If you're going to be, if, you, if your neck is going to be visible, we don't want to line. Okay, the next thing I want you to do for this look. I'm looking at the look right now. The very first thing I want you to do is take Love My Eyes liner and I want you to go over your brows, right over them, and I want them to be black. And then we're going to do like a little swoop at the top, kind of like that, because he has like these really, well it has these really strange brows. Don't really worry about um, how they're really shaped, it's just for Halloween, it's not like it's a, you know, this is going to be a glamour thing, but do make sure they look good. I'm all about being perfectionistic. Okay, once you've got that done, I'm going to have to get out my sharpener. I'm going to use lots of Love My Eyes eyeliner today as a basically, basically for everything in the look. So, the next thing we're going to do, he, his lid is darker than the rest of his eye, so we're going to cover it in Love My Eyes or my hip crayon, but my hip crayon's a little bit expensive for people. So I'm going to just put black eyeliner all over just the lid up to the crease. This stuff is literally like two bucks. And in my opinion, it's a dream. It goes on very good. very dark and then we're going to kind of just kind of blend out the sides it's okay if you get a little bit of patchiness up because it's going to be covered up by um, black eye shadow anyway so it doesn't really matter how clean the lines are really much or um, how smoky it is up above okay so once we've got it kind of shape like that, which looks kind of crummy, but we'll, we'll work on that. We're then going to actually put on our liner down below in the waterline and right below the lash line. Got a little messy down below. Please ignore that. Got a little messy down below. Okay. Much better. There we go. There we go. So you get this whole thing going on. Then we're going to take, you don't have to buy what I own. L'Oreal Hip and Platinum, or any really cool black, very, very, very black shadow. And with a brush or the sponge applicator, we're first going to start and we're going to pat down the liner and we're going to get it good and black. And then we're going to take it up. And the top part, I want you all the way to the brow to be very light. 
I don't want it to be really super black because we want it to contrast with the lid. This eye ended up a little bit cleaner than this eye. I guess it's because I'm under pressure and I'm trying to rush myself. Okay, now this brow ended up a little bit thinner than the other side, so I'm going to just kind of fill that in. Now you can um, put on, this is his everyday look by the way, you can put on fake eyelashes, but really his lashes aren't that crazy. It's, Col it's Columbia and Magenta. I think you could have more fun with, with the lashes. Put on a good coat of mascara. It doesn't really matter what brand. Just a good mascara. But I'm using the Colossal from Maybelline in Glam Black. And then I'm going to get back to the skin. I forgot the step. Okay, first, his, he's got kind of like this pearlescent glow. So I'm going to cover with Rimmel Moonstone a highlight all over the normal areas. I know I'm looking like I'm just sloppy, but whoa, whoa. Then take a good brown um, eyeshadow and a card and put in your blush because he has brown cheeks. That looks good. Now, for um, his lips, I took, this is going to grow some of my fans out, black eyeliner, not even kidding. Put it around my lips. I did, of course, you know, sterilize the tip, and I also um, ran it a couple times through my sharpener, so it's not the same that's been on my eyes, and didn't put it back on my eyes that way either. Then I put in CQ red lipstick, or any really good red lipstick, in the inside, and then blended it out, and that's what gets you his um, lip. In the scene, though, in the floor show, here's two different steps to get to the floor show. First, take off your current lip, put on the red, the, the red um, lipstick again, and then take a clear gloss, put it on the back of your hand, take it off, put it on your lips, and get like a sheer red lip gloss kind of look. And then take blue eyeshadow, bright blue eyeshadow, Get it on to, you, to, to there real good. And then pat over the lower part where we did all that work to make it look real pretty. The lower part where it gets darker. Put on some blue eyeshadow. And bam, you instantly got Frank's floor show look. I know this makes no entire sense to anyone who doesn't know Rocky Horror. But... To those who do, it's important to you, and I know you, it's important for you all to look good. So I thank Ben Piercy and Natalie Hughes for suggesting me to do this. And um, the next look I'm going to do, which I'm going to do today too, to get them out of the way, is Columbia's look. The very last look I'm going to do is Magenta. And I'm being rushed, so I hope you all have a really good day, and I hope you enjoyed the look. Bye-bye.